Welcome to 513 Park Avenue in the historic district of Greensboro, North Carolina. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom home. It is conveniently located to downtown and it has got tons and tons of historic charm. We're up on the front porch. It is a really good sized front porch. Look, we've got the newer beadboard up here. It's really, really pretty. Lots of space up here on this front porch. Let's go inside and check it out now. And now we have come inside. Take a look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has got so much historic charm. Look at these hardwood floors. We've got our fireplace right there. So many be beautiful windows in here. So lots of natural light, lots of gorgeous glass doors. We've got an office space or parlor over here. We've got crown molding. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Spin around and we've got another door right here that leads to the side porch. This leads to the cellar and then here's the stairs to the upper bedrooms. But we'll come back through here to take a look at the dining room through these double doors right here. It is a huge dining room. There is plenty of room in here for a really, really big table. Probably one that could seat eight. We've got this really cool molding here, uh, picture ledge molding. We've got built-in storage right here. Actually, that's, yeah. And you've got some cushions there right here at these beautiful windows. And then there's that hallway that I was just in. We'll come in here to the kitchen and the breakfast room. We've got the newer wood look tile floor in here. Here's your breakfast nook right here. Across from that we have got a really good size pantry. And then here's your kitchen. We've got all new stainless steel appliances, an electric smooth top stove and oven, microwave, dishwasher, granite countertops, Space for your refrigerator is right there. Uh, double bowl stainless steel sink and lots of space. Got a ceiling fan and some recessed lighting in here as well. And then this room leads to a den. It could possibly be used as a bedroom because there is a door right there, a place for a door. And it's got a closet. We've got a fireplace in here. We've got shelving on either side of this fireplace. And then we also have a door here that leads out onto a back porch. It's got wood paneling all through here. It smells really good if you like the smell of wood. And then we lead out into the backyard. And there is a little garage out there. Now there's one more thing on this level before we head upstairs. There is a full bathroom right here. Again, wood look tile. We've got a stand up shower, single bowl vanity, and a linen closet in here. So now we will venture upstairs. All right, we have come up the stairs, and you'll notice right here at the top of the stairs there's a door. When we look out, there is a little kind of like a platform out there, but I don't know that I'd go out there. Anyway, so we'll come up here, and we can see that we've got beautiful hardwood floors up here as well. It all goes this way. We've got stairs leading up to the third level right here but we're going to start with this first room in the middle because it has its an attached bath so we'll call this the master it's a good size room it's got two windows that let in natural light we've got a ceiling fan crown molding in here and then here is its own private bath we've got the wood look tile it's a gorgeous stand-up uh, tile shower single pole vanity and space for a nice walk-in closet here. We'll come out of the room and go to the left and right across the hall from that is the other full bathroom up here. Also has the wood look tile floor. We've got a tub shower combo, a linen closet, single bowl vanity, nice window. We've got, even got crown molding in here in the bathroom. Got a good size closet right here for storage. 
And then down here at the end of the hall, we have our laundry room. We've got tile floors in here, a couple of windows. It's nice and bright. A little nook right there for storage, especially if you added some shelves in there. Then we have bedroom number two. Good size room on the back corner of the house. Got a ceiling fan, crown molding, hardwood floors, two windows, and a closet. And then we'll come back down the hall. Again, there's, there's the stairs again, and the stairs to the third floor, which we'll check out in just a minute. And here we have bedroom number three. It's on the front corner of the house. It's got three windows, so there's terrific natural light in here. We've got a closet over there, ceiling fan, crown molding, and hardwood floors, just like the other one. And then on the other front corner of the house, another terrific size bedroom, ceiling fan, the hardwood floors, closet right there. And now we are up on the third level, and this has all been redone. Look at all of this beautiful wood lining this bonus area. We've got two ceiling fans up here, lots of space. This could be a really terrific movie room, playroom, game room, possibly even a bedroom. Just depends on how you would want to use it. But look at all of this beautiful wood everywhere. Really makes this a unique and really special feature of this home. We've just come out this back door that led out from the, the back porch. And here's the backyard. We've got a garage here, two car garage, and a pedestrian door right there. We're now in the backyard. We're gonna look back toward the front of the house. And again, this is 513 Park Avenue in the Historic District in Greensboro, North Carolina.